Hello, and welcome to the Quick Start for Terrain Display. In this course, you will learn how to work directly in a 3D terrain model file, as well as in a 2D project file with the terrain model referenced in. You will learn how to display the terrain features and how to label contour and spot elevations. You will also learn how to display a background map and label the terrain slope at a single point and between two points. Let's get started. A terrain model is a set of triangles that are mathematically computed from collected point data. The terrain model is created from 3D features such as points, break lines, and contours, and is stored as a mesh element in a 3D design file. Train models are also referred to as digital train models or DTM. The train model is similar to what was previously stored in the Geopack 10, Inroads DTM, and MXFIL files. Now let's get started with exercise one. In this exercise, you will learn how to select the proper workspace and work set, open an existing train model, review the ribbon interface, display train model features, and change the default display parameters. As you get the software started, the first thing that we want to do is select the workspace that we'll be using. And for this training course, we'll be using the training and examples workspace that is delivered with the software. We also need to select the work set, and for this course, it'll be the training imperial work set. And once you have those two set, then we want to browse to our folder where the training files were installed. By default, uh, that would be Bentley Training, Quick Start for Train Display. And in that folder, you should find a file called Train Existing. Go ahead and select that and open. As this file opens, you'll see a dashed green line representing the outer boundary of the train model that we'll be working with in this exercise. Before we begin working with the train itself, let's take a quick look at the interface. Up in the upper left hand corner, you'll see a pull down that is the pick list for the workflow. And you'll notice that you have several different options and we're working in open roads modeling today. You also have a ribbon interface. Uh, this should be familiar to most of you. There are tabs. You'll see across the top, file, home, terrain, and so forth. These are the various tabs where the commands are located. And on each tab are groupings of commands and then the individual commands. In the upper right of the dialog box, you'll find the search ribbon. This tool is available to assist with finding tools on the various ribbon interface. So when you're not sure where to find something, simply key in the name of the command and a list of commands and their locations will be returned to you. Let's key in ARC in the search ribbon and we'll see the search results for all commands on the interface that have the word ARC in them. And if we hover over a command, you'll notice that it will show you each workflow, ribbon tab, category, and then the command where that particular command is located. If we left click on arc between points, that will launch the command and you'll see the dialog come up for that command and the heads up prompt shows up to start that command. Let's go ahead and right click out of that. Now let's take a look at the backstage view. Clicking file on the ribbon will bring us to this view where you can access commands for creating a new file, opening a recent file, save, save as, save settings, and so forth. Additionally, if you click on settings, you'll find design file settings, preferences, customizations, and all these settings over here on the backstage view help keep the ribbon menus focused on the actual design tools. Now click on the arrow in the upper left to return to the main ribbon interface. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.